Hi, it's Christine from PopFit Studio, and I'm here to share what's working for us for teaching group fitness classes on Zoom using music. I knew music can be a difficult thing on Zoom because Zoom is designed to be for um, just conferencing. So you have the person's voice and it moves out the background, and we actually want that background. So I've done a few things externally and then some things in Zoom that I'll share with you that's working for our instructors. This is low cost because all of our instructors are teaching remotely. Um, we don't want anything that's that expensive that's going to cost each instructor a lot of money um, because this has to be duplicatable. For those that want a little higher tech option, I do have a video that I've, I'm going to share below for um, using a mixer, possibly with your current sound system. This would be a best long term. We're going to try that way out once we are back in the studio doing full live classes and we still want to keep some virtual classes going on. So for now, though, this is a very inexpensive way for you fitness instructors to be able to teach through Zoom. First, suggest getting a Bluetooth speaker, uh, very inexpensive. Uh, I also suggest using something like your phone or a tablet to just ex externally play your music. You can hear it as an instructor. The class will hear it through the microphone. And I have an external mic. It's a USB mic. Uh, it doesn't, you don't wear it on your body. Um, it just sits next to your computer. In fact, you plug it in to your computer. And I have an expensive one. This is a Shure. Um, you don't have to use something this expensive. I had this already, so I didn't have to spend any new money. But this particular mic, the Shure MV88 Plus, I use for vlogging, but you can use like a snowball mic. I'll include some links below, somewhere between like $35, $40, all the way up into the hundred. So inexpensive. If you only have a Bluetooth speaker, we found that that works as well. But having that microphone really does help you pick up the crispness of an instructor's voice, which if you're using music and you want to cue throughout class, it's ideal. Now that's just part of the solution. The other part has to do with the back end of Zoom. So let's jump into Zoom right now and uh, change some settings. So here we are in our Zoom meeting. Once you log in, you'll want to go down to your settings. Once you do this once, you should be good to go. I check it on occasion. But go down to your mute button and there's a little arrow. Go up to audio settings and you'll need to adjust your audio settings to um, make it so Zoom isn't isn't compressing everything that you're doing and you know mixing things automatically. So automatically adjust microphone volume is probably checked off. Uncheck it because we don't want Zoom to be adjusting that. You also want to put your volume all the way up. That's your microphone volume, whether you're using an external mic like I suggested or you're just using the microphone that's built in. Um, you want to have that up. Next, you're going to go to your advanced settings. And in advanced settings, most likely this is unchecked. You need that checked off, show in meeting option. Then you'll need to disable these two areas. Disable, if it's, pro it's probably an auto, the suppressed persistent background noise and then the intermittent background noise. Di uh, disable both of those, the last one can be auto. And that's pretty much it. You wanna make sure that this is the way your audio settings are. You could play around with your video settings too. I won't get into that in this video, but I'm going to share, share with you a couple of tricks that we use at the studio. We always rename the instructor. Um, sometimes it's like we name it Puppet Studio. You can put the instructor's name. Uh, this helps because we use FitGrid and the instructors all log in on the same like instructor one. So it ends up coming up as either Puppet Fit Studio or myself. So we have the instructors change their names. Then um, you can spotlight your video. So the three little dots, you're gonna go, pull down. There's a lot of options for you to mute your video and stop the video. We use spotlight so that way the instructor is always the person that is showcased in the middle screen. Now, when we sh do classes with du duplicate instructors or, or multi like two or three instructors, it's a good way for the instructors to just spotlight who is the one next teaching rather than leave that up to all the members in order to hit pin. This just makes it a lot easier. Um, and this is also where you would co-host. So I could make 
one of these, either the host or in this case, this, in, this person, I can make them the co-host. So then that way, if they're one of my other instructors, we have found out recently that, you know, when there's technical issues, we like to put our, if there's another instructor on the class with us, or if there is um, someone that just is, can keep, keep everybody going if something were to happen, if my wife or Wi-Fi were to go out, that if we put another person kind of back up in charge, uh, maybe one of your frontline people, that's very helpful. So sometimes I'll make someone a co-host. They might, they're, they're not gonna teach it all, but they'll be in charge should I get bumped off for some reason. Uh, next, we mute or unmute. You do that by going to the participants uh, section and you can mute all. I always, this usually comes up as checked, allow participants unmute. I uncheck it because I don't want them to be able to unmute themselves. We also record to the cloud. This makes it so all the instructors can record their classes at the top of every class and it'll just get sent to our cloud and then I can take it and put it on demand. You also have the option to record to your computer. Just make sure you have plenty of space to do that. I tell clients they can do gallery view or speaker view, whatever works for them. I know for myself, when the gallery view is up, it's, it's fun and you have the energy like a group class, but sometimes I just wanna pay attention to the instructor. And if you wanna do that, then you wanna make sure that you are on speaker view. Um, if you have tips and tricks that you'd like to share, please leave it in the comments below. We're always looking for new ideas. And as we get new ideas, we'll continue to share. If you have any questions, again, leave them in the comments below and we will continue to make videos to uh, make it easier for you to continue to share your passion as we are virtual in our teaching. Bye.